learn controls by simulation, a delineation of what goes on behind the process. Welcome back to the course. If you missed the first two sections, check it out at turbolab.teachable.com or message me at LinkedIn. In section 3 we will go into the logic behind automatic synchronization and load control. Then in section 4, we will go into temperature control with IGV bias. Section 3. In this section, we will look at the logic for synchronizing and load control. The unit is at full speed no load, ready for synchronization. Let's review the logic for synchronizing before going to the HMI to put the unit online. Synchronization. This is the logic behind automatic synchronization. Operator selects auto synchronization. L25P is set to true. Peter closes the first of three hardware contacts to close the breaker. Peter. Turbine primary protection provides the first layer of checks for synchronization. P-Pro, turbine emergency protection provides the second layer. The logic in Toolbox ST program checks if the generator control panel has been set for auto-synchronization. P-Pro synchronization window checking is enabled. The logic checks if the generator and bus frequency and voltage are within limits. Peter starts to check if they are within the window to close the breaker. Peter closes the second contact to close the generator breaker. and P-Pro closes the third contact. Then 125 volts DC is available to energize the closing coil to close the generator circuit breaker. And the turbine is online. Let's switch to the HMI to do put the unit online. 